Before you start watching, I just want to let you know that this video was supposed to get posted a week ago, but for obvious reasons, I wasn't able to at that time. Why am I telling you this? Well, I don't know, I just wanted to. Anyways, enjoy. Hey guys, how y'all doing? Welcome back again for a new video. So yesterday I made a video about Windows 10 LTSC and why you should use Windows 10 LTSC and not Windows 11, etc, etc. And today's video is going to be about the Microsoft Store or the Windows Store, I don't know what it's called, uh, but the thing that's going to complete the puzzle. It's essential for a lot of people signing some applications, for example, like WhatsApp. I use WhatsApp personally a lot and they want WhatsApp to work on my Windows 10 installation. Uh, but sadly, Windows 10 LTSC doesn't have it. Uh, you cannot install whatsapp on that thing i mean you could use it on the web but the desktop version is the one that has the call option the video call voice call option a lot of other stuff will require windows store or the microsoft store besides whatsapp doesn't matter for you you might not be using whatsapp but you might need something else from the windows store and also i read one of the comments of you guys uh, talking about how gta 5 doesn't like to work on windows 10 ltsc and it was like maybe it has something to do with the microsoft store i'm not really Really sure even though i don't think uh windows 10 ltsc is not able to actually deal with gta 5 because that doesn't make sense but maybe i'm just saying so from all of this today we'll show you how to do it science i did this myself i have the windows store myself over here if you can see it's working just fine just like that you see i can install whatever i already installed a couple applications here and there from the windows source so it's working just fine uh, the first thing i will do is basically go here and then type google dot com and search for microsoft's store windows 10 i already searched for that now oh no 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 ltsc please just like that now we'll open that link right i know some of you are gonna go crazy in the comments saying oh this thing is seven years old yes it's seven years old and it still works but the thing before i install it i would like to check it if it has any viruses so some of you guys will be comfortable installing this uh, on their computers what i will do is code then download zip then i will open that thing yeah it's still downloaded I might need 7-zip or something. I will go with 7-zip. It's the one I like to use. It's almost downloaded. I think so. All right, it's downloaded. And now I'll install that just to extract the contents of that. There you go. It's going to be a really quick one. Okay, install. Perfect. Now I will try to come over here. Then 7-zip, then extract here. Yeah, I think I need to do that. All right, perfect. Now I will search for uh, virus total, I think. Virus. Is that what its name? Yeah. Okay. So we can check if that thing has any viruses or anything like that you know all right open that one select all of these can i select all of them no way no way i cannot select all of them yeah just open that one i want this okay can, can't you just okay no let's wait i will go over here no can i just oh yeah here you go upload in empty file some elements you're uploading empty why empty that's not empty all right what if i copy all of these right is that gonna be okay there you go those i believe are empty files or some shit i don't really know no, but everything checks out all of this checks out we have no problems whatsoever with all those files before we do anything you will have to activate only one options which is over here for developers and then you're going to enable developer mode wait i gotta put this on mute because i hate the windows sounds when i click something or i open a file okay so once you turn on the developer mode whatever it's called you're going to click on add store then you're going to run this as an administrator right while this is installed in, you can see that the Windows Defender is not basically detecting anything and uh, basically facing no problems because this file, as I said, has no viruses whatsoever. All right, it's doing a job. It's just going to keep going like that for a little bit. It's not going to take a lot of time. So be a little bit patient and wait uh, for your dish to cook. And that's really it. So in here we can see that it says adding Microsoft Store, adding Store Purchase app, adding App Install so that might be some stuff uh, that you need in order to run a couple applications outside the Windows Store or the Microsoft Store, doesn't matter. And here we got the Xbox Identity Provider and done. That's it. If I close this and close this and close this, you're basically done. You have two options. The first option is to reboot. But if you don't want to reboot, that's fine. That's your second option. You can just open your Microsoft Store just like that. But sadly, when you're going to open that window, there are going to be that thing saying, pardon, uh, the interruption. Uh, before you can shop, we need to update 
Microsoft Store, you feel like there is a French person talking to you instead of the Microsoft Store saying that you need to update. Doesn't matter. All you have to do is update and then wait a little bit. It's not going to take uh, that much time. But if you have a Wi-Fi speed of uh, 0.01 megabytes, it might take a couple days, but that's fine. You just need to be a little bit patient and wait for that thing to cook again. Just let them cook. All right. Microsoft Store is ready to go. You can see that that thing didn't really take that long. It was a really quick one. The really easy process. Uh, I can install whatever, for example, I'll go with, uh, what do I need? Uh, do I really need anything? I'm not really sure, <laughs> but I will go with WhatsApp, for example. Yeah, why not? This one over here and let's install it. Get as copilots about this products, really. Can somebody just tell me how can I remove this copilot's annoying thing? Yeah, I swear to God, uh, it's installing over here. Yeah, 90 megabytes. No? Is it 90 megabytes? Yeah. But in fact, the Microsoft Store or the Windows Store does work. So that's good news for both me and you. All right, just to make sure we'll wait for that thing to install. All right, it's installed. Now we'll open WhatsApp. I don't even have to restart, so that's cool. And yeah, this was really it for today's video. I hope you guys learned something from it. If yes, then don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And the comments by the way i read all the comments all of them all right so leave one see you in the next one bye, -bye.